This is the T in Ready practice test for Integrated Math 3, question number, at least on this version, 24. A county employee is making plans for some changes in and around a triangular section of the park. To begin, he plotted the three vertices of triangle ABC on a coordinate plane. The triangle has vertices located at 0, 0, 1, 4, and 4, 1. So I did that here. This is A, this is B. No, sorry, this is C, and this is B. Each unit on the coordinate plane is equivalent to 100 yards in the park. The employee is planning to place a circle of trees around the triangular section, so all the way around the outside. Uh, which method should he use to determine the center of that circle? Now, this is one of those questions that you probably thought that, well, we'll just go over it in class and that'll be it. I'll never see it again because this is construction. This is actually construction of what's called a circumscribed circle. So we're going to actually create, inscribed would be the circles inside of it, uh, but we're going around the outside that's circumscribed. So what we need to find first is the circumcenter. The thing about it is if you don't know the construction steps, you're kind of out of luck on this one unless you can just magically remember what they are. Uh, but generally speaking, in order to find the circumscribed circle, we need to find the circumcenter, which requires us to find the point in which all three of the perpendicular bisectors hit. So what I'm going to do first off is uh, get this a little smaller, look at the answer choices, then I'll actually do one sample to show you part of it, and then I'll kind of pause it to where you don't have to watch me do all of the sets, and I'll show you what the final product sort of looks like. Um, which method should he use to determine the center of the circle? Find the intersection of the bisectors of each angle of the triangle. Mm, see, this is an angle bisector question, so probably not. Find the intersection of the perpendicular bisectors of each side of the triangle. That's looking pretty good. Find the intersection of the altitudes drawn from each side of the triangle to the opposite vert vertex. Altitudes, of course, would be that they make a um, kind of a go from the vertex and then you make a perpendicular bisector to the side. And then find the intersection of the line segments from the median of each side of the triangle to the opposite vertex. So we'll go, we'll find the median and then we'll go up and just see what the angle is. So the requirement to make a circumscribed circle is that you do create perpendicular bisectors. So just out of reality, I'll go ahead and circle B, and then I'll show you a little bit about what that looks like. I'm going to bring over my math tool here. So you'll want to create a situation where you're about a little more than halfway across, and you want to go a little bit. Basically, we're just going to find uh, areas above and below each segment. We'll do each segment. At, uh, on its own time. And so I'll do that. Actually, what I should have done is cycle this around just a little more, and then I could just pull back. And then I need to go above the tool, or above the line, so somewhere up here. And then I'll take this tool, and I'll put it at the other side of the segment, and I'll reverse it. And then I'll want to do that. That's a point. And then also I'll want to do that right there. And I'll take a segment and connect those two parts together. All right, so I'm going to pause it now and come back with the other sections finished and you'll be able to see it. So now I've created all my perpendicular bisectors of the sides, and I'm left with these points. It wasn't an exact pinpoint match, just because of the nature of me trying to do it so quickly. But you can see right in this general area is where the circumcenter is going to end up being. So I'll bring this back, set it somewhere in the general area there. I'm going to rotate this. And then I just need to make sure that this goes all the way out to the center of that point there, somewhere like right in there. And it'll give me a general circumscribed circle. So just like that. But the reality is, in the first place, the thing that I had to do was find the perpendicular bisector of the triangle. If you don't know the steps to construction, this is a good little wake-up call that you need to study the steps of the constructions. That way you're prepared for this type of question when you get it on the test.